Hey, everybody. Hello. Happy Saturday night. Happy Saturday night. <laughs> and welcome to our Take a Guess. This is not a Halloween show. <laughs> no. It's not a Thanksgiving show. It's not an Easter show. <laughs> We it's past Thanksgiving. We're doing a hol or we're doing a, a holiday show, but it's predominantly Christmas, I'd say. But yeah, yeah, our holiday show. Yeah, oh one gosh. of them. Yeah, I mean, it's about that time of year. You probably have listed a bunch of your Christmas stuff already, and yeah. we're selling it. Uh, we've been selling a few things, um, but what we want to do tonight, we want to show you what to look out for. The really high end stuff. I mean, some of the stuff is worth so much money. It's I know, ridiculous. I, I mean, know, and you see so much of this stuff at like church rummage sales and places like this. Mm -hmm. So, oh gosh, wait till you see some of the crazy stuff we found. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say anymore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's so much fun looking through all this stuff. Christmas is once a year, but people collect this stuff. People love their decorations. I mean, you look out in some people's yards Christmas time and you see thousands and thousands of dollars out there and we'll show you why. You, um, I, I remember when Kai was visiting us uh, not too long ago and we were talking about the blow molds, the Halloween stuff that was out. Yeah. And we were talking about how valuable they were. And she, we were driving down the road and she's like, look, there's seven grand in that yard. No. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> she just made, made this uh, uh, appraisal all of a sudden. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hashtag reseller kid. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, there's um, a lot of money to be had um, looking and reselling yes. these types of things. So, And it can be so nostalgic and so much fun. So I think we need to dive in and show you guys some of the awesome stuff. For, yeah. 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 I mean, forget the intros. Right. Like, you know, like <laughs> there's Michelle. You know, she's been selling predominantly on Poshmark for uh, two or three years now. And... Uh, we got together and we are running our business, um, our reselling business and social media and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and, and this is Dustin. Oh, thank you. And um, he, he has been actually in the reselling business for what, about a decade now? Yeah, just about, right? Yeah, predominantly eBay, but now uh, we've merged and are in merging together doing eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. Yeah, so... Cross this thing with list perfectly. We'll um, throw a link or, or link down there if you want to get a discount on your first month. It's really it helped us expand um, in a, a very easy way. You know, making those uh, sales on other platforms. So we're really happy about that. So hey. yeah, and let's say uh, hello to everybody that has joined us tonight. Hello, Will, Reseller Madness. We're so happy that you could be here. Uh, yeah, we always love your good stuff. Uh, that you put out. Also, we have Desert Sellers. Oh my gosh, uh, it's been such a long time. Oh my gosh, <laughs> how are you doing? Hello. Hi. Welcome. Yes, absolutely. We're so happy to have our friends here uh, with us tonight, checking all this out. So let's get into it here. Yes. Let's check out um, one of the first, I would say, categories that um, we would already started talking about. Um, and that is, let's see here. I'm sorry, I'm just looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> we got um, a blow molds. Now, these blow molds are, some of them are just ridiculous. Now, we're going to start at the top here. We're going from um, highest to lowest. These are sold listings, used blow molds, Christmas blow molds here. Okay, hang on one second. Yes. What is a blow mold? No, blow mold is something like this uh, Santa Claus here. You'll see it is like, um, blown plastic, kind of like blown glass, but it's just shaped uh, plastic. And they're, you know, usually three foot tall or something like that for the most part, two or three feet tall. And uh, they light up most of them. Okay. And yeah. they're pretty light too, right? Yeah, very light. Okay. Um, they're actually fairly easy to ship because you just need to put them in a box, maybe a little bit of bubble wrap. You know, they're not going to like break. They might get crushed if the box gets crushed. But other than that, they're easy to ship. You just need a big box. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for telling me that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So these are the things you'll see on the yard. Now you see like one of these here. Look, uh, this whole thing, uh, brand new here. $1,350, Santa and his reindeer. I think these, and right below it here, another one. Uh, $1,200 for this Santa sleigh and a few oh. reindeer. And if I'm not mistaken, these are the same ones that in the movie Christmas Vacation. Yes. Where he's like, where he's like Wait, kicking the crap out of them. Seen, I haven't seen any of this, you guys, at all. But 
So this is totally really live for us, but that is the same one. That's got to be where this gets all mad. Yeah, and he's kicking it and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, you taught me everything I know about <laughs> exterior illumination. Oh yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. And and in fact, okay. I've sold three copies of that movie on DVD, brand new. Like I pick them up all year round because I know they sell around this time. Yeah. Three copies in the past week have sold of Christmas Vacation <sighs> on DVD. Um, so check this out. Also, the whole Nativity set here. We got a 12 piece vintage blow mold. The Nativity set that you see out in people's yards is worth a thousand dollars, guys. Gosh. Right. I mean, I do you really want to put these in your front yard? I know, like somebody. Unless you have a guard dog. Yeah, that, I mean, right. The one that, but I don't think Elmer. people realize that they're worth that much, really. No, no, you're right. I don't think they do. Um, but now you do, and now you know to look for these guys. Yeah. So, oh my goodness. Then. Um. Yeah. Oh my gosh. These are and these are some of the really high end ones. Okay, you're gonna go down, and you're gonna see that, you know, some of these are gonna go for. Hundred dollars, sixty, seventy dollars. Yeah, let's look at a couple of those um in that price range. Sure. Second. Okay, let's um so we can filter that here. So how about we Thank go you. 30 Thanks, 35 to 75 dollars? Yeah, that's cool. I like to see what I might actually stumble upon more yeah. frequently. You know, here's a pair of candlesticks, uh, you know, coming from Canada, but like around seventy dollars. Here's the... a snowman for 70 bucks. Oh, blow, and they're called blow. Blow molds, yeah. Blow molds. Plastic blow mold. This <gasps> one's 33 inches. It's a Winnie the Pooh. I love the Winnie the Pooh. Okay, yeah, cool. 70, okay. 75 bucks for that. So they are out there. They are really out there. Like you're gonna there's you're, another yeah. look at see, there's another set of those um candles. Yep, the candlesticks, <gasps> a set of, of I don't know, what, what you call it? Nutcrackers. Yeah, the nativity set pieces here's, for that. Yeah, here's just the camel for the nativity sets for $75. Holy cow. I mean, camel. Yeah, holy camel. <laughs> right. Holy camel. Right. I'll say. Couldn't help myself. I know that was so <laughs> dorky. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so check that out. So awesome. there's, there's blow molds. Very cool. I mean, there is one thing that are, are going to you know bring some good cash. And Jennifer, uh, Desert Seller, says, I've been watching just silently. You guys are always crashing it. Oh, my gosh. You as well. Yeah. Uh, we always love your reels that you put out and tips and stuff like that. Thank so helpful. you. Yeah. Thanks, Jennifer. We appreciate Thank you, you. Jennifer. <laughs> so much. So now um, let's talk about another thing here that you might want to look out for while we're out there. Because we also see these quite a bit. Let's look at. Just in general, the vintage Christmas ornaments. Now, this is from high to low. We're looking at some that are worth three thousand dollars here, guys, and it looks like more of the like the antique German. Now, I've, I'm, while doing this research here, I'm seeing that antique German Christmas stuff mm -hmm. is where it's at. Yeah, hand blown. Yeah, especially the sort of hand blown glass. It's looking like. Um, I mean, like, look at this moth here. I mean, moth is put this moth on your Christmas tree for two grand if you'd like to. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yes. it's a, it's, it's just probably, you know, a collector, uh, the designer collector type of thing. But look at these here. Like, there's a certain look. look. Yeah. <laughs> a certain look to that. Right? Yeah. There's a certain look to it. There's certain expressions that these pieces have, and you know right away when you see them. Yes. We have some. We'll show you. Antique uh, German character. Now, here's like a, a grapes. Now, if you see this grapes ornament, I mean, the hand blown glass, wow, 1500 They're bucks. They're so <laughs> fragile. They're so, it's like you sneeze and you feel like it's gonna cru you're going to crush them. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh, yeah, totally. Oh my gosh, you guys, here is another um, brand or design to look out for, Christopher Radko. Now, we're seeing most of these really sort of distinct looking ornaments going for really, really good money. Christopher Radko, check out that name. Beautiful, yes. beautiful. Oh my gosh, here's another one of these uh, German handle on glass, um, distinct look. Um, oh, uh, excuse me for the fast scrolling here, but let's just go down. Here's some more of these hand blown ornaments. Now, Michelle, you had found, um, let, let us know about, you got like a whole basket uh, okay. of some cool ornaments here. No, yeah. <laughs> whether these are the antique uh, German ones or not, I don't know, but they're amazing. You know, this, thanks. Yeah, let's see a couple so, of them. So um, I 
love to talk about the nurse flipper <laughs> mm -hmm. and she inspired me to go out and start looking for vintage Christmas ornaments. Mm -hmm. So I did and I started last summer and I have for instance this really beautiful one which is vintage where is it here it is where is it? yeah. it's it's a coal it's santa's on a locomotive mm. and it's so hard with this the lighting yeah. but um it has a little like extra little thing here that says coal on it and you can just see I have other ones with yeah. better, but it's, they're so, so intricate. So, you know, just beautifully made, hand painted. Um, I wouldn't say this is a German antique one, but I mean, wow, look at this thing. You got another really cool one, right? I have a really, really cool one. I have, let's see. I have one talking about an expression. I want to really show this one to you guys because you'll be like, oh my gosh, yes. I know all this clinking and clanking. <laughs> See, that has a, an older sort of look to it like yeah, that. Cute yeah. expression. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, just these, you know, just so cool how these are made i was sitting there looking at this like how do you make something like this this is so amazing i know and there's so sparkles cool. on it too like just in the perfect places yeah well they're like sort of like hand painted um oh my gosh just so beautiful and this one right here wow look at this santa on a rocket ship that one is actually worth quite a bit and unfortunately it's damaged it is the top here it is busted yeah but i mean just look at the who wouldn't want to put that on your Christmas tree, you know, that's so cool. It is really cool. <laughs> so look out for these hand blown um, ornaments. Some of them can go for thousands, you know, and these right here, I'm, I'm really not sure. We're gonna uh, see what these are gonna go for. Very nice finds here. So mm -hmm. um, Christmas uh, ornaments, definitely check those out. I mean, people have Christmas trees and need ornaments to put on them. So, uh, <laughs> True. Again, again, <laughs> again, you know, people collect Christmas stuff. They say they're not collectors, but they have a big old box of Christmas decor in their closet that they've <laughs> been collecting, right? So, <laughs> all right, let's move on to the next uh, kind of cool, um, let's say, brand to look out for because you see these, you really do see these all the time. And that's Department 56. Yep. Uh, we went into a, as an estate sale um, this, I would say, early fall oh my gosh and we saw the biggest department 56 collection ever it would fill up the entire basement they were all boxed up well he starts freaking out because i don't know what these are uh -oh. he's like oh michelle oh michelle i'm like oh, oh my gosh i had no idea they were everywhere the, yeah everywhere I mean, hundreds of them they they absolutely were i mean literally hundreds um, I'll put a reel up about that pretty soon here. Um, we got that footage. We got it in long form. So um, it might be a little bit different for a reel, but um, we'll put that footage out. you got to see this collection. It is amazing. And um, you'll see here why people are um, liking this stuff here or why it, this is so uh, collectible. Now you'll see up here the at the very top, you'll see the most expensive ones are ones that are like pop culture uh, related, like um, a Christmas uh, or, or Christmas Vacation, the movie yeah. we were just talking about right here. Todd and Margot's house, their next door neighbor, right, um, <laughs> is going for you know around two thousand dollars. Todd and Margot. Yeah, like the the runners, the really yeah uh, with the icicle. <laughs> yep, with the icicle in the window. Yep. <laughs> I don't know, Margot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. So um, now here's some more from the Christmas vacation, the Department Fifty Six versions. Uh, we got just um, okay. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit, right, really quick here. So we got look at Empire State Building. Uh, department 56 a grand a grand for that one building that is so crazy some more empire state buildings up at, at the top here around a thousand now we go here and we see also uh christmas vacation the department store that they're at is worth a grand i mean that's a very small and very sort of insignificant part of that movie and they're still selling 
you know, this building of it for a thousand dollars so people can put together this set. Mm. Uh, that's really amazing. Another pop culture uh, thing here that is selling as far as Department 56 is the Christmas story, another classic Christmas movie that everybody loves. I love that. Oh my gosh. The hounds and the turkey. Yeah. <laughs> Kai and I watch that, I don't know how many times every year. You know, they replay it on a channel like 24 7 usually on some channel. So um, people love that pop culture stuff. And you can get the furnace repair shop, which I don't even think was in the movie, right? For like $900. What? Yeah. The furnace repair shop? Yeah, that's not even really in the movie, right? Right. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Does... He was huffing and puffing about, you know, his furnace being bad. Yeah. You know, whatever. But um, here's some um, Harry Potter ones as well. Oh, very cool. Let's go in for eight fifty. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I mean, okay. So Department are we gonna find? 56. Yes, Department Fifty Six, another awesome brand to look out for. Um, these right here. Let's see. Let's look in the twenty to forty five dollar range. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I love that. Um, so. There's even some Halloween's one, Halloween ones that are pretty good. Basically, okay, so with Department 56, they're very easy to research because you just type in, excuse me, Department 56 and the name of the piece. Or there's also um, numbers. Um, like right here, we'll see the, the village number 55009. So you can also type that in to do the research on it. And you'll see, you know, even these just plain old like hunting lodge here with the original box going for $40. Plus shipping. There's an old McDonald's one. Oh my gosh! Look at the McDonald's <laughs> one. That is so awesome. I love that one. Yeah, that's like a 50 style. Department 56. I had never heard of. Yeah. Never ever heard of. You know, just these little figurine sets that you know people make this huge display of. You know, so they need this one. They need that like one. Like the whole village kind of thing. Yeah, game. they need the little people skating. They need you know. So these are very very collectible. Look out for Department 56, guys. Oh, so cute. One. Yeah. <laughs> so we also have, um, let's look on uh, next one. Let's see, let's see what um, everybody's seeing here. Uh, Will is playing Mario Kart with his kids. <laughs> he did share. Thanks so much for sharing. Uh, we really appreciate that, Will. Um, trying to get some more chatty people on. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> appreciate Thank that. you. Yeah. Uh, Department 56 can be hot, Jennifer says. Uh, yep, she knows. <laughs> Department 56, absolutely. Um, she says that she just sold a, a Department 56 Halloween piece for 200 bucks. No way, congratulations. Nice sale. And way after Halloween. Go. Awesome, that's so cool to hear. That feels so good, right? I know, right? It's like, I'm getting the right stuff. <laughs> and after Halloween, you know. That's um, what I need, right? So, you know, this stuff doesn't necessarily need to be, you know, in season to sell, like I was saying earlier in the broadcast here. And thanks, everybody, again, for um, joining us. If you're checking us out on the replay or joining us live here, we really appreciate it. And let's check out um, one uh, or two more little um, things to look out for. This is one of my favorites here because you see these all the time, guys. Love it. Yes. And that is um, Hallmark, excuse me, Hallmark Keepsakes Ornaments. Yes, it's a now, mouthful. Yeah, good job. Uh, another, <laughs> another sort of branch of the ornaments that you want to look for. Everybody has a Christmas tree and ornaments to put on them. Now, my yeah. my cousin, oh my gosh, he has the most amazing Christmas tree. It rotates, and it's nothing but pop culture stuff. Oh, really? Like uh, he must have spent thousands of dollars, you know, putting this little Darth uh, Reven Knights of the Old Republic Star Wars ornament on his tree for a thousand bucks because he just has wow. a ton of this kind of stuff, right? How fun. That's I really know. cool. He's got the coolest Christmas tree ever. <gasps> <laughs> so um, check out these now. I mean, now these are lots right here. This is a 77 ornament lot, new in box for like 800 bucks. So people just love these Hallmark keepsakes. Um, I have to say that I have I've been running into, is that, go? Oh, who's that? That, that crabby lady? Uh, Maxine. Maxine <laughs> I have one of hers downstairs still in the box from Hallmark. I ran into some of these. So yeah, the oh. Hallmark keepsake ones pop up. Yeah. I mean, I see these all the time and not all of them are good. Some of them are worth like $10 free shipping. You know what I mean? So you got to look them up, but you know, when you get in again to those like 
specific pop culture ones like this mm. is you know a uh, comic-con exclusive star wars one you know 500 bucks yeah we got a a collection if you ever see a big collection of these grab them here's a collection oh, of birds i love the bird ones yeah and somebody you know got 400 bucks or less for those so if you see a collection of a certain ty uh, type grab those if you see star wars um i came across a collection of wizard <laughs> of oz ones one time that were still new in the box and I sold all those. Those went for really good money too, you know, like 40, 50 bucks. I love the Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. Just because. It, oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, classic, you know. So people want to, you know, put that stuff. I mean, here's a. Because, 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 because. 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 Honey. <laughs> because of the one. <laughs> All right, we're off to see the Wizard of Hallmark Keepsakes. <laughs> and uh, keep an eye out for Harry Potter, Wizard of Oz. Birds. Some of these birds <laughs> ones are going good. Star Wars. The birds are, are right up there with the Star Wars and the Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to um, look at some more that are, you know, a little more common. That you're going to find, you know, they're still worth picking up. Yeah. Um, again, we're seeing, we got some Peanuts ones here. We just got some Snowflake, Winnie the Pooh. The Snowflake ones actually are, rel I don't want to say relatively common, but I have seen them before. Huh. Just as plain, simple. I might have one downstairs, mm -hmm. but I haven't listed yet. Awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> there's just so many sold comps to check out on these Hallmark keepsakes from any price range. Again, a lot of them you can just scan the barcode because mm. they have a barcode, or you just look up Hallmark Keepsake and the title. Yeah. And there's your research. You know exactly how much it's going to be going for, mm. which I think is uh, pretty cool. That's why I like to, to find them. They, you know, just sell well. So, um, what else do we got to look at here? Let's check this out. Um, we might have one more sort of like little um, area to sort of look at um this one is something that we had sold a lot of um some a really high-end one halloween one for like 80 or so dollars and that's just like the die cuts just like your decorations yeah. that you hang on the wall these little yeah. cardboard cutouts uh, with graphics on them like this vintage 21 inch santa claus adorable you know this isn't even two feet tall oh and the way that they feel, I can't explain it. They're like a harder cardboard sort of. Mm -hmm. I love really nice paper, and I hate that. Like they just don't make them the way they used to. They don't. <laughs> they just don't make them. They're beautiful. Yeah, that is true. Here's the old Mickey Mouse one in the old style. Uh, making this wish for you is like eating a big Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> that was from really? the 30s. Here's another one, you know, just a uh, um, $100 for this little piece of cardboard. Oh um, yeah, these big Santa cutouts are seem to do pretty dang well. Just, you know, any of these, you know, old... Uh, you know when you see something special, you feel it, you bring, you look at it, you're like, you know that it's something that's going to be exciting for you to... All right. You know, here's a lot. Of here's some Christmas ones and <gasps> some Halloween ones. I recognize the cat. Did you, we had that one right? It's, it's fairly similar to the one we sold for eighty dollars, but the, oh, one, the one that we sold was them. very. It was yeah. it was very rare. I, I didn't see one like it out there. It was pretty nasty too, from what I remember. The cat was like a big, kind teeth. of snarly. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> so here's a few uh, snowman die cuts. Mm -hmm. 16 inches tall, a set of them for $80. So all these little just Christmas decorations, guys. Um, it, it's worth doing your research on a lot of this stuff. Um, you know, don't take this as a, you know, end all be all as far as Christmas decorations goes, because there are, it, it's a whole, it's a whole know, thing. Different different world out there uh, people love their christmas stuff yeah um just like you know we got our ugly sweaters on we got the christmas story shirt and you know i feel like i feel like reindeer the uh statue of liberty <laughs> like i don't know festive extra festive 
Statue my, of Liberty. I um, do. The this is my Statue of Liberty. What is that? Oh yeah, the with the <laughs> with the torch. I got gotcha. you. It's my torch, baby. <laughs> yes, we're we're making it to. <laughs> Making it reindeer with all these uh, crazy vintage Christmas decorations, <laughs> that's for sure. This is so, really fuzzy. You guys can't see it. Uh, <laughs> that's a perfect uh, shirt for the show, I think, tonight. Oh, my gosh. I want to say thanks to everybody who is in the chat room who stopped by to say hello. We are so happy to see you. Mm -hmm. Hi. Yes, guys. Thank you so much. Um, and we hope to see you all again next week for another show. Uh, maybe we can delve a little bit deeper into some of these here or something. Mm -hmm. But, you know, uh, we hope this helps you um, find what you're looking for out there when it comes to Christmas. The extra special holiday stuff. Yeah. You know, people are basically throwing this stuff away, you know, at yard sales in the summer. They're like, oh, my gosh, take this stuff off. My right. Hands. Grandma's stuff needs to just go out in the garbage or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my gosh. And if, you know, you... Um, grandparents don't want the stuff anymore or something like that you like scoop it up oh my gosh <laughs> let's do some research and uh list the stuff on ebay if it's not sentimental to you <laughs> that's so, the way to go yeah and uh jennifer says happy to spend saturday evening with you guys great tips tonight thank you so much jennifer for <gasps> stopping Thanks, by jennifer yeah, absolutely oh, oh there's another really nice little blown glass um ornament that you found there I, yeah. I really can't believe these these are so cool they are yes look at that sparkly they're so fragile oh i know if There's you can hear that hand blown they're just like i said yeah. so. little so cool I, I don't know i just think they're so intricate and yeah the little like, the expression on their face is just <laughs> So pretty. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, guys. Well, <laughs> we need to do a video on how to ship these yeah, right? fragile mm. Christmas ornaments. And we'll do that, I'm sure. Yeah. Very we, soon, yeah. <laughs> we need your help, Mick Flip and Chip. We'll uh <laughs> we'll we'll do it. We'll do it right <laughs> for sure. Thank you, everybody, for joining us again this Saturday night. We can't wait to see you guys next Saturday night. And, of course, come hang out with us maybe Tuesday night and watch the fantastic video that uh, Dustin's been working on. And I don't actually get to see it until we eat popcorn and watch it together on Tuesday night at 8 o'clock <laughs> Eastern Standard. <laughs> yeah, so it's a, even sometimes it's a, a surprise to me. I, you know... I, I spend hours and hours, you know, maybe eight, 10 hours editing these videos. And I don't necessarily watch it, watch it until, you know, until we watch it on <laughs> Tuesday night with, with all you guys. So thanks it, for joining us. And if you guys like this kind of content and if you want to see more of some of the stuff that we've been doing, please like and subscribe. We really appreciate every single one of you who spends time with us. And we cannot wait to see you until until next well until next saturday i can't even speak it's pizza time right baby after we do our show oh my gosh yes saturday night's pizza night pizza so. i need my pizza <laughs> bye guys see you guys <laughs>